This is a, a big opportunity for me in my career and uh, you know for my family and uh, the fact that I don't want to I don't want to go in the fight you know half stepping you know especially facing a guy like Pacquiao I know how far I can push my body before before I actually hit that wall mm -hmm. you know because I've I've done it for 18 years so but uh, it's How'd just you finding hit that, that wall? balance. Like when have you hit that wall? I've never hit it. You never hit it. I've yet? never hit it yet. In a fight, never. One time. One time. When was that? Uh, that was a while back. It probably had to be like my twelfth fight or something like that. What happened? Uh, I was completely gassed after like the first round. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like I never trained for the fight. Yeah. You know, I felt extremely weak in the fight. Uh, I didn't lose. I didn't lose the weight properly. You know, I was running like crazy. I just completely overtrained, and it was it was bad. I, I ended up stopping the guy, but you know, I felt like crap during mm -hmm. during that event. Yeah, I felt like crap, man. What got you through that? Uh, just hard. Just hard. Just hard, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've got my rib popped too in the fight when I fought again. In the second round. In the second round. Mm -hmm. Still sticking out, man. Ooh, yeah, I see that. See it? Jeez. I got it popped out. Second round. In the fight, mm -hmm. and it was the second round. It was, a, it was a actual championship fight. And I went back to my corner and I, was, I swelled up. And I told my trainer, I said, "Man, I think he broke my rib." And he was like, "What do you want to do?" I said, I said "You have two options." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "What do you want to do? You have two options: stop we the can fight, stop the fight, quit, the or hey, yeah, you got to stop this guy." Mm -hmm. And I said, "I'm not stopping because <laughs> I'm not losing my title, man." So I fought through it, man, and uh, I ended up uh, beating him. It was against uh, Miguel Vasquez, mm -hmm. oh, wow. you know, who's the champion right now. How much did you make in that, uh, that jump to 147 with Abregu the first time help you to kind of make this adjustment uh, in terms of weight? Well, I, I felt the power, you know, uh, Abregu was a heavy, heavy puncher, um, but it wasn't enough to he like scared me out of the division. It wasn't nothing I wasn't familiar with. But I, I meant physio uh, from a physiological kind of way. Getting I'm a natural. To I'm a natural 147 pounder. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's that's my. I'm a, that's a comfortable weight for me. 147 pounds. I fought 147 pounds in, in the amateurs, and I fought a size 152 pounds when they changed the weight division. So big guys don't bother me. I like them. I like the guys big. So I can stay inside. I can stay inside of them, and uh, you know, um, it takes longer for them to get their hands back to their face. You know, than a guy with, with shorter arms. Sure. You know, so I'm able to counter punch effectively. That was the hardest thing that I ever had to go through in the ring, man. This fight with a pop rib. That that pain was extreme, man. Every time I don't know. Move and throw. Yeah. Every time I threw, every time I, I throw a punch, every time I jab, every time I move, it was just pain, pain, pain. Yeah, I went to the hospital that night. I remember that. Scale of one to ten. Dude, it was a hundred, man. It was, I never felt pain like that in my life. Collapse. Every time I threw a punch, I was in extreme pain. I would grimace in the middle of the ring. You know, when we got close, he didn't even know he hurt me. You know, and, and that was that was the key was not to let him know that he hurt me and not to let his corner know that he hurt me. Mm -hmm. Like no one knew, but my corner. Yeah. And that that's. That was the biggest challenge, and not allowing him to know that you know I was actually hurt. You know, um, make a for, good poker player for eight rounds, man. <laughs> well, it was something that I learned young. Yeah. You know, never show weakness in the ring. I never go into a fight thinking about somebody's power or thinking about being hurt or thinking about you know what if he catches me. I just go in there and just live in the moment. I'm in the moment. It don't really don't matter. If he hits me like they like they were saying like Casamayor, oh he hits hard, watch his left, oh Casamayor, dude, I, he hit me with that left and I was like, that's it, that's it. So I was like, oh, let me just walk this dude down. <laughs> so you know I'm gonna get in there with Pacquiao and if if he ain't hitting like 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 they say he hit, then he gonna get walked down too. So I'll be able to make my adjustments. And be able to feel his power in the first round. Okay. Rather he throws hard or not. As long as I keep my hands up, chin tucked, I'll be I should be alright. Gotta be able to move, get out, get in and out, get out of range, come back in, get in and out, come out of range, be able to tie up, hold, step inside. You gotta be able to do all these things, man.